Also resigning today was Elizabeth Lawton, a congressional aide whose Facebook post about President Obama's daughters, Malia and Sasha, sparked a firestorm. Here's senior White House correspondent Bill Plant. The snarky posting was about the Obama girls at the annual White House Thanksgiving turkey pardoning, and it violated the unwritten rule that children in the White House are off limits. You guys want a feather? <laughs> Try showing a little class, Loudon wrote on Facebook. I'm guessing you're coming up a little short in the good role model department. Dress like you deserve respect, not a spot at a bar. And don't make faces during televised public events. Loudon wasn't the only one to suggest that the first daughters looked bored or maybe just like teenagers. But her post was the most difficult and went viral, even though Loughton apologized a few hours later. I quickly judged the two young ladies in a way that I would never have wanted to be judged myself as a teenager, she wrote. The backlash has continued. Tweets and blogs on the web called for Loughton to be fired. White House spokesman Josh Ernest said he was taken aback that a political staffer criticized the first daughters. I was a little surprised about that. Uh, but I will say that there are, um, you know, that she has uh, you know, posted an apology to her website, and I think that was, uh, you know, an appropriate thing for her to do. Republican National Committee Communications Director Sean Spicer agreed that Loudon's comments were inappropriate. But Scott, he also slammed media coverage of the incident as appalling. He said in a tweet that the press never covered similar comments by Democrats as intensely. Senior White House correspondent Bill Plant. Thank you, Bill. Coming up, our remarkable series.